Today on Becky's Homestead, the baby ducks are hatched, Becky shows you how to cook the perfect fried egg, and she answers a question from a viewer. Hi, I'm Becky. I moved to the country and built the log cabin of my dreams. And now I enjoy the simple life. This is the life of making things, growing a garden, raising animals, connecting with my community, and making a home. This is Becky's Homestead. Now that you have all those eggs from your backyard chickens, I'm going to show you how to cook the perfect fried egg. A lot of times when I go out to a restaurant or to a friend's house and even family, I find the eggs to be overdone and tough. So I want to show you how I cook eggs and I, all, I always get a lot of compliments on how good my eggs are. I start with my little cast iron frying pan. I keep the heat on the beginning of medium. So you're going to turn it, right here it says low, and you're going to turn it just beyond low. So it's medium low. You have to cook it slow and low. That is the secret. I also cook my eggs in either butter or bacon grease because I think they turn out better that way. So I'm going to put a little butter in my pan. All right, I just put some butter in my cast iron pan. I use either butter or bacon grease after I've cooked bacon, but today I'm going to do it with butter. So put quite a bit in there so your eggs don't stick. You want to make sure like if it's really bubbling the butter, wait a minute and cool the pan down. So turn your heat down if that's the case. You don't really want to see it bubbling too much. If you can see those little tiny bubbles, that's probably enough. And here are the farm fresh eggs. So I'm going to crack those in there. I don't like overcooked eggs. I don't like them dry and I don't like them rubbery. I love eggs though, but I'm kind of picky. And these are eggs from the girls. Farm fresh. Let them sit in there. Don't touch them. Don't move them. Let them cook slowly. Just for fun, let's put one store-bought egg in there so we can see the difference. That one's for Scott. And here we go. Looky there. Now this is supposedly top of the line. Eglin's best. How great their eggs are. Now, if you can notice right away, that's a very pale yellow and the farm fresh eggs have a dark yolk. Which I like to see a dark yolk. To me, that's more tasty and I think no more nutritious and healthy. Just to describe the difference between the store-bought egg and the farm fresh egg, I'm going to tell you what I say. The store-bought egg has a much paler yolk to it and the white is runnier. The farm fresh egg has a nice rich dark yolk and the white is more firm. So the store-bought egg just doesn't look as good and I know for a fact it doesn't taste as good either. Now that the eggs have slowly firmed up, I'm going to get them ready to flip them. I like my eggs over easy or over medium. So after the eggs have firmed up a bit, I separate the eggs. And it's funny how if you let them firm up slowly, they actually separate right where they're supposed to and you don't even really have to cut them. It's like they stay where they belong. And another thing I want to show you where you can have an idea if you're on the right track of cooking really good tender eggs is if you shake the pan, do you see how the eggs move around? You don't want them stuck to the pan. You want them to be kind of free floating in there. Now the store egg <laughs> is stuck to the pan. I just knew it wasn't as good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can get it unstuck though. We don't want it to be stuck. Okay, I'm going to flip the eggs now. So they should flip pretty easy because they don't stick. And what tears the egg up when you're trying to flip it and just messes up the whole picture is when the eggs stick. So that's why you have to make sure they're loose and cook them low and slow. This is the reason is because when it comes time to flip them, they're nice and loose and you can just boop, Flip it right over. Now that's going to have a little color on it because of the cast iron pan, which doesn't, that's iron. It doesn't hurt anything. Iron's good for you. So once again, look how easy I picked that egg up. And I'm just going to flip it over and it just gets right back in its spot. And the same with that one, it just comes so easy. 
And if you cook them too hard, it tears them and they stick and it's just awful. So there you go. Look at that. And we like crunchy bacon. So we have crunchy bacon. I like to flip them back over when I put them on the plate. So that's what I'm going to do. There's the store-bought egg. So this is Scott's place. So I'm going to try to make it look nice for nice presentation. There we go. And they came out of the pan, no sticking at all. And the eggs will be very nice and tender to eat. There we go. Breakfast is served. <laughs> Let me put this paper down. I'm all giddy. <laughs> Today's the day we noticed a little pile of baby ducks underneath Mama. Oh, look at that. If that isn't the most precious thing I've ever seen in my life, I don't know what is. Oh, she, look how many she's got. <laughs> There were 13 eggs in there, so there might be 13 little babies. Look, there's one coming out literally right there. Look, look, it's literally coming out of the egg. It's literally coming out of the egg. Do you see it? Of course, Daddy's doing his job protecting. Look at him. Do you see it coming out of the egg? Should I move those egg bits? Don't touch them. Them Just let it all take its course. Oh, he wants to hide them. Oh, get off there, Daddy. You're stepping on them. There's not going to be room for everybody in there. Oh, there's another one coming out right here. Literally. Can I grab one? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Is that the cutest little thing you've ever seen? Look at those little feet. Would you pick her up? <laughs> okay, I have a letter from Taylor and I'm going to read what he says. Hey Becky, I was wondering what breeds of chicken do you prefer for egg production? I have Rhode Island Reds, Bard Rock and Buff Orpingtons. Are these all good layers? Yes, they are. Those are all the typical good laying hens. I like a variety, so I don't necessarily go with a purebred chicken. Just kind of whatever I get, whatever looks good to me, I'll get it. Also, I've noticed if you feed them good, every chicken lays eggs. Hens, that is. All hens lay eggs if they're healthy and you feed them good. So just have fun with it and get the kind of chickens that you like. Right now in my coop, I have some Rhode Island Reds, some New Hampshire Reds, and some Araucanas. They all lay nice for me. And I have a couple like mutt half breeds in there. And they all lay. So I like them all. Thanks for writing. I love getting your letters. Keep them coming. Thanks for watching. Please email me with any questions or suggestions. Happy homesteading. Bye bye.